caught a skeptic again. I can't believe you believe in that man. We disagree, but I still give a damn. Here you go. Let me know if you want anything else. Thanks, Jill. I really don't know why I let you talk me into this. Hey, it beats staying at home again, right? I just don't think I'm ready. I mean, it hasn't been that long since Karen died. I feel like I'm cheating on her. Well, it's up to you, but you're the one who said you wanted to meet the locals. I said I wanted to meet them, not boink them. Well, that's up to you, too. Is it just me, or is this place empty? I think everyone's at the high school tonight. I thought they moved the game to next Saturday. No, Bill said they managed to get the schedule worked out. Oh, okay. Uh, this is my neighbor, Josh. Uh, Josh, this is Cindy. She works at the bank. Hi. Hi, Josh. Things will probably pick up in a couple of hours when the game's over. Well, I'm probably going to have to leave before then. I left my son home alone. He's only a few blocks away, Josh. I think he'll be okay. Besides, Max is there and Becky's right next door. I know. I just don't feel comfortable leaving him there after dark. I think you worry too much. Well, he's kind of all I have left. I think I'm entitled. I said, give me the remote. Now we already watched what you wanted to watch. Now we're watching this. Hello? Hey, I'm just calling to check on you. Is everything okay? Fine, Dad. We're just sitting here watching, watching TV. Well, nothing's happening here, so I'll probably be home soon. Okay. Oh, you think you can pick up some milk? Stop it. We're out? Yeah. Okay, I'll stop by the store. Anything else? I think that's it. Okay, I'll be home in a bit. Okay, bye. Lord almighty, it's wet tonight. When did it start raining, Father? About 30 minutes ago. They had to call the game on the count a bit. I guess that means they'll be playing it again next weekend. Eh, probably. Boy, didn't I tell you to leave that umbrella at the door? You're getting water all over the place. Sorry, Dad. Well, it ain't gonna put itself up. Charming as ever. Charming my asterisk. Jill, give me a couple of root beers, won't you, hun? Haven't seen you around before. You in town? Yeah, sort of. I've been here a few weeks. Well, if you're still looking, my church is the one on Main Street near the junior high school. Bring the family and come to services tomorrow. We'd be glad to have you. It's just my son and I, and I do appreciate the offer, but I'm going to have to decline. Well, if you change your mind, you know where we are. I take it you're uh, going to the Methodist Church on Parish Avenue? It's the only other one in town. No, we actually don't go to church. I see. Well, son, everyone I know in this town goes to church. Being lazy about it ain't gonna get you into heaven. Now I'll be expecting to see you and yourn bright and early tomorrow morning. Oh well, I guess you're going to be disappointed then. We don't happen to follow your religion. Well, what religion do you happen to follow? Here it comes. Personally, I don't follow any religion. 
My son and I are both atheists. Pray with me, my son. The Lord will fix you. No. Uh. Hey. What is your problem? I want you out of this town by tomorrow. Nobody wants no devil-worshipping, baby-eating Satanists here. I said I'm an atheist, not a Satanist. You're all the same. Just a bunch of amoral, murdering demon spawn. No conscience. Don't care what's right or wrong. It's no wonder your wife left you. What with you raping and beating her all the time. That's enough. How dare you say something like that to me? Where do you get off saying such hateful things to someone you don't even know? I loved my wife. It almost destroyed me when she died. Yeah, well, you didn't say she died. Thing is, you couldn't have loved her, cause love is a gift from God and he doesn't share it with the likes of you, so just save the lies. William, you need to just... I just feel so sorry for that boy of yours. I can't imagine what it must be like. Getting all torn up every night? They should lock monsters like you up and throw away the key. I might have to see about getting him away from you. <laughs> Well, bring it on, Satan. Don't let the collar stop you. You stay away from my son. If you don't leave, I'll expose you for what you are. There is a monster here, William, but Josh isn't it. You are. You don't deserve to be called a man of God.